Loves You, it's Prophetess Barbara Calloway, and I am so excited that you are right here for the Spiritual Awakening broadcast right here on YLC TV. God has been doing something incredible, and today will be no different. So before we jump in, I want you to do what you do best. Like, comment, and share with two, three, four, five, ten people that's on the other end of your timeline and will need to receive this special impartation. Recently, the Lord gave me a prayer service right here in my home. And we called up on the name of God. And not only did he hear us, but he answered us. He put it back on my heart to have a special broadcast today because so many people, including yourself, you've been saying, I need healing, I need deliverance, I need encouragement. And I firmly believe that it's found in prayer. So I want you, as this prayer is going forward, to comment someone's name in the thread and let them know, hey sis, hey bro, I'm praying for you today. And after the prayer service is over, come right back here because I want to share some more. Come on, let's go right now into the sound of prayer. Glory to God. Glory to God. Father, tonight, here we are. We're already in your presence. We thank you tonight. You're so good, you're so God, you're so kind, you're so merciful, you're so faithful. So we enter in tonight with thanksgiving. We enter in tonight with praise. We say how great you are. There is no God like you in all of the earth. You God, you are the God of the Bible. You're the God of all creation. You're the God of the universe. You're the God who sees and who knows all and we thank you thank you Lord Jesus that your power is from everlasting to everlasting thank you Lord Jesus that you are so strong and mighty come on intercessors you know how we do it we enter into his gates with thanksgiving we enter into his courts with praise we magnify you we worship you we we adore you we say that you're our keeper uh, you are the lifter up of our heads you're our father you're our shepherd you're all seeing you're all knowing there is no one like you and tonight we praise you tonight we worship you tonight we adore you you're so strong and mighty. You're mighty in battle. There is no God like you. There is no God above you. There is no God before you. And there will never be a God after you. You're God all by yourself. You're God all by yourself. You're God all by yourself. You're God yourself you don't need our help because you're God all by yourself and we enter in tonight and we enter in tonight into your presence we enter in with the lifting up of our hands with the opening of our mouths we enter in tonight you are Savior you are healer you are El Shaddai Jehovah Jireh, you're Jehovah Rapha, we bless you tonight, you're all powerful. Worthy are you, worthy are you Lord, worthy to receive glory and honor, worthy to receive praise. Worthy to receive adoration. That's what we give you. Uh, that's what we give you, Lord. We praised a lot of things. We praised a lot of positions. We've even praised the things that you have given to us. 
But tonight we remove the stuff. And we praise you. We praise you. You are worthy. From the rising of the sun into the same. God, you're worthy to be praised. You're Alpha. You're Omega. You're beginning. You're end. You're keeper. You're healer. And tonight we enter in with praise and worship. Thank you for how you've kept us all year long. From dangers seen and unseen. The accidents that we didn't see that was supposed to happen. The death threat that was supposed to come upon us. We thank you God that you kept us. And we're here tonight because of your goodness. We the people of God pray you yeah we give you a strong praise we praise you oh god there is nobody like you there's no so sweet you're so awesome you're amazing simply amazing simply amazing nobody like you love heaven or the earth no like you come on let's saturate come on let's just take a moment we're not in a hurry tonight come on there's a rhythm in prayer we enter into his gates with thanksgiving nobody like you Lord you're the great I am you're the prince of peace you're the almighty God and we worship you I said we worship you I said we worship you I said we worship you Lord we worship you we worship you Father tonight receive our worship let it come up before you even as a sweet aroma receive our worship tonight it comes from my heart God, tonight we simply say thank you. Two words that are so powerful. Tonight we say thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Savior. Thank you, Master. Thank you, King. I wish I had somebody that just, even you may be listening to this prayer riding in your car you may be listening to this prayer sitting on your job but if you just think about how good god has been to you there is something in your soul that has to cry out your name for your name is mighty and your name is holy oh God here we are here we are calling upon your name saying that we need you like never before we need you father we need your presence, we need your power, we need your spirit, we need your guidance, we need your direction. Like never before. And Father, before we go any further in this prayer, we stop and ask for repentance. 
we stop, oh God, and do what you said according to your word. Second Chronicles 7 and 14, you said that if we as your people would humble ourselves and pray, seek your face, turn from our wicked ways. Lord, you said that you would hear from heaven. You would forgive sin and you would heal the land. So here we are tonight as your people called by your name. Here we are tonight humbling ourselves up under your mighty hand. Here we are tonight bringing ourselves down up under your power. Here we are tonight saying that God beside you we can do nothing. Here we are tonight coming off of our high horses. Here we are tonight coming off the, off the, after lofty positions. Here we are tonight making ourselves for what we really are. We are low up under you. We can't do nothing without you. We can't breathe without you. We can't think without you. We're nothing without you. God, you are high and we are low. God, you are great and we are nothing without your hand. We are We humble ourselves. We pull off pride. We pull off arrogance. We pull off high thinking. We pull it off tonight. We pull it off tonight. We pull it off tonight. If you take your hand off of us for a split second, we won't be able to do nothing. If you take your hand off of us for one moment, we wouldn't be nothing. We came from the dirt and we were nothing until you breathed in us. So we exalt you. 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 We lift you. Come on. We lift you. We lift you. We lift you. We lift you. You said if you'd be lifted up from the earth, you do the drawing. We lift you, Jesus. We lift you, Jesus. We lift you. We lift you. We humble ourselves and we lift you up. We humble ourselves and we lift you up. We humble ourselves and we lift you. 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 Not Buddha, not Christian, not Muhammad, but we lift you. We lift you. We lift you. Come on intercessors we lift you 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 we humble ourselves and we lift you you said if we would do this, if we would humble ourselves, if we would pray, God forgive us for being a prayerless generation. Yeah. Forgive us, oh God, for praying for stuff, not seeking your hand, not seeking your face, but seeking your hand. Lord, forgive us for praying for material things. Forgive us, oh God, 
for coming before you with a list versus asking you what's on your mind. Forgive us, oh God. Forgive us tonight. Forgive us for letting our altars be broken down. Tonight, oh God, let the altars of the Lord be repaired. Prayerlessness in our land. Father, forgive us. Come on, I can't, I can't pray this for you tonight. This, this prayer of repentance, it is a personal prayer. I can't, I can't, I can't ask him for you tonight. You've got to go before him yourself. Come on, come on, come on. Don't you allow the enemy to get you comfortable in your sin. Oh God, forgive us, forgive us, forgive us. Forgive us for even as Israel, we have gone a whoring after other gods. Sit up, Mahaya. Not gods that are made by wooden images and made by hand. But forgive us, Father, for serving the God of power. Forgive us for serving the God of pleasure. Forgive us for serving the God of entitlement. Where we feel so entitled to positions and places. God, would you forgive us tonight? We repent before you and you alone. Oh God, would you let your blood wash us again? Let your blood cleanse us again. Forgive us, forgive us for, for being filled with jealousy. Forgive us, oh God. Come on, intercessors, pray with me. Forgive us for being filled with with division forgive us oh god for being filled with so many things in our hearts that have not been pleasing to you god we want to be clean we want to be clean we want to lift up holy hands without wrath or doubting so we repent we're praying and you told us if we would not just pray, but if we would seek your face. Oh God, we are, we're in a hurry. We've lost our seek. We've lost our seek, but I hear you saying that there are times where you hide yourself from us to see if we would seek after you. And I'm a higher. Oh God, we. We've got to go back to seeking you. You said if we would seek you, you would be found of us. God, we're restoring the seek tonight. You don't come necessarily when we pop our fingers, but you come when we tarry and when we seek and, and when we come after you tonight. God, give us our seek back. <laughs> yeah, Lord. <laughs> Seeking you, Lord, seeking you with all of our hearts, turning up our cell phones, turning up social media, and seeking you until you are found of us. Oh, God. Seeking you. Seeking you. Tonight we're seeking you. Right now we're seeking you. We know you can do things for us. We're seeking your will. We're seeking your face. We're seeking you. Come on, let the tears roll. I'm, I'm looking at you. I see you sitting on your bed tonight. I see you saying, I feel so far away from him. But tonight your seek is coming back. I said, your seek is coming back. I said, your seek, your seek is coming back. God, we thank you. That not only are we humbling ourselves, not only are we praying, not only are we seeking, 
your face but Lord tonight we're turning we're turning from our wicked ways <laughs> our ways are wicked you didn't say this to the sinner you said this to your people our hearts are wicked our hearts Lord are filled with so much unforgiveness our hearts are filled with backbiting our our hearts are filled with tearing one another down our hearts are filled with being so divisive even on social media our hearts are wicked but tonight God we as your people we say we're turning from our wicked ways only you can see the hearts we can put on fronts we can put on facades we can we can post pictures but Lord you see the heart and tonight we're turning we're turning in our hearts turning from lust turning from fornication turning from perversion Come on, intercessors. He won't hear from heaven. He won't forgive sin. He won't heal the land unless there's a turning. Unless there's a turning. We're turning from our wicked ways. We're turning, Father, for words that we have spoken against one another. We're turning. dirty heart from this flesh we're turning we're turning we're turning we're turning I heard you you said tell my people to get their eyes off of what she's doing Get your eyes off of what he's doing. And you yourself began to turn. And I'm a Mahaya. We're turning. Yeah. We're turning. We're turning. We've got to come back to you. We're turning. I said we've got to come back to you we've got to come back to our first love we've got to come back to our first love we're turning from our wicked ways things that we're still holding on to that happened 10 years ago things that we won't get rid of we're turning from our nasty attitudes we're turning from our nasty attitudes we're turning Why? Wash us, wash us, wash us, wash us. I heard the Lord say in prayer earlier this week, we're turning and returning. Yeah. God, we are turning away from the world and we are returning back to holiness no 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 not 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 the outward appearance of holiness not the big colors not the big bibles there's nothing wrong with that but father we don't want the form of godliness while we deny the power thereof so we're turning away from new age mysticism we're turning away from horoscope reading. We're turning away from psychics. Oh, we're turning away from sage. We're turning away from crystals. We're turning away from things that we've allowed to come in our houses. Glory to God, we're turning. We're turning away from the world, the systems of the world, the methods of the world. We're turning. We're turning, we're turning, and we're reaching. 
returning back to your will, back to your way, back to your word, back to your truth. We're turning and we're returning, we're turning and we're returning back to prayer, back to fasting, back to consecration, back to holiness. Returning, take us back, take us back, take us back, take us back. We're turning, and we're returning, and we're returning. Oh, we're turning, we're turning. We're giving the world back that music. We're giving the world back their beats. Oh, but we can no longer serve the sacred and the secular. I said we can no longer serve the sacred and the secular. So we're turning. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear. Lord, hear us. You told us you would hear from heaven. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. You told us you would forgive our sin. You told us you would heal. You would heal the land. Oh, come on. This is a live recording. You told us you would heal. You told us you would heal the land. The land that's sick. The land that's destitute. You told us if we pray, if we would seek, if we would turn, you told us you would heal, you would heal the lion, you would heal the lion, you would heal us, heal us, heal us, you would heal us. Give sin and heal the land. Lord, we won't make it the way we're going. Lord, we won't make it the way we're going. We won't make it without you. Hey, forgive sin and heal the land. Come on, pray through right there. Come on, pray through. Come on, come on. Forgive the sin of our ancestors huh, that found their way through our bloodline. I tell my mama, Haya, forgive the sin, forgive the sin of this generation, forgive the sin of the generations to come. Come on, you can pray through right there. Come on, come on, forgive, forgive, forgive me. Sins I committed, sins I omitted, the things that I did that you told me not to do and the things that I haven't done that you told me to do. Hey, 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 forgive us and heal the land. Forgive us and heal the land. Forgive us, forgive us. Mercy, 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 mercy. Mercy. Don't give us what we deserve. Don't give us what we deserve. 
but give us grace and mercy. Oh, oh, oh Jesus, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. A nation whose blood is crying up from the street. A nation whose blood is crying up from the street. Have mercy on us. Don't cut us off. Give us another chance. Yes, Lord. Give us another chance. We stand in need of mercy. just lift up a sound come on can you just in your homes right where you are in your homes right where you are in your homes right right there where you are in your homes sitting on the edge of your bed thank God that his blood has all power his blood will wash you his blood will cleanse you his blood will deliver you I said his blood will deliver you. I said his blood will deliver us. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again it's nothing but the blood of Jesus and all oh, precious is that glow that makes me white as snow no Oh, we give you glory. Oh, we give you glory. Oh, we give you glory for your blood. We give you glory for your blood. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We give you glory for your blood. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for washing us tonight. Thank you for washing us tonight. Oh, thank you for washing us, Lord. Come on, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know who I'm, who this prayer is going to tonight, but there is something about the cleansing blood of Jesus Christ. The God who hears, the God who helps. So here we are tonight, Father thanking you for your forgiveness thank you for hearing from heaven and thank you for healing the land and Lord tonight in prayer we lift up we lift up our families before you we lift up our families before you Father our families Lord Jesus that are made of so many different components so many different elements our families that are made of marriages, our families that are made of single parents, our families that are made, Father, of, of even our children. Father, tonight we lift up our families before you. But the job of the enemy has been so crafty, have been so cunning to even bring division in families and to try to redefine what you have defined as marriage between one man and one wife. So Father, tonight in prayer, we, we fight for our families. We stand 
for our families. We stand, oh God, for that husband and that wife that seems like they're going in two different directions. Seems like they would be ready to head for a divorce court. That, that husband and that wife that's living in the same house but sleeping in two separate beds. Oh God, tonight we ask by the power of your name that you would unite that marriage that you would bring that love back together between husband and wife that everything that's been done everything that hurt every word that's been spoken every argument every fight every disagreement god we ask you tonight that you would that you would mend up the broken hearts in marriages oh god that that father has left the home that mother that's left the home. As they hear the sound of prayer, I pray, Lord, that you would give them the heart of reconciliation. Come on, would you pray with me right there? I pray, oh God, that you would, that you would bring them back together. That, 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 divorce, that divorce decree that's waiting to be signed. As we pray tonight, we pray, God, that you would soften the stony heart. As we pray tonight, we ask, God, that you would bring that husband back to his wife. Bring that wife back to that husband and let them unify. Let them cohesively fulfill the purpose and the plan that you put them together. We come against divorce. We come against divorce. We come against divorce. We come against divorce. We pray against divorce in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God, restore our families. Lord, tonight, single parents, single parents, single parents who carry the burden of raising their children by themselves. Father, I know what it's like to be a single parent. I know what it's like to try to figure out how to make ends meet. I pray in Jesus' name. That single mother that's listening to the sound of prayer. And you are at your wit's end. That single father that says, I cannot do this by myself. I, I want to tell you something. I, I want to pray this prayer in your spirit. You are not by yourself. And so I decree and I declare that the spirit of discouragement would fall off of them like chains. I decree and I declare that the spirit of suicide would fall off of them like chains. I decree and I declare that the spirit that wants to give up as a single parent would fall off of them like chains. Send hope and help. Send hope and help. Send hope and help. Send strength to every single parent, every single mother, every grandmother, every grandfather, every caretaker. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Strengthen our families, Lord. Strengthen our families. And Lord, while you're doing that, Father, would you, would you save our children? You save our children. Lord, would you save our children? Come on, just lift it up. Lift it up. Would you save our children, Lord? The enemy has a strong grip in their decisions. The enemy is using peer pressure to get them off track. But Father, you told us if we train them up in the way that they should go. When they are old, they will not depart. Didn't say they won't stray. Father, you said they would not depart from the truth. And you told us in your word that the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. And so tonight we pray and we intercede for our sons. The mark that the enemy wants to put on their lives. The statistics that the enemy wants to put on their lives. 
the premature death that the enemy wants to put on their lives. The prison sentences that the enemy wants to put on their lives. We lift up our sons to you. We lift up our sons to you, oh God. Save them from themselves. Save them from the trick, the trap, the plot, the plan of the enemy. Save them from that drug deal. Save them from that stray bullet. Save our sons from police brutality. Not another hashtag. Not another hashtag. We decree and we declare that the death sentence that's been pronounced over our sons, tonight we decree and declare that it shall not be so. Save We call them in. Come on, I want you to put your son's name. I want you to put your son's name in the atmosphere. I want you to put your son's name in the comments. I want you to put your son's name. I don't care how young they are. Save our sons. Save Jadale. Save Dallas. Come on. Put your son's name in the comment section. Maybe you don't have a son. But you know somebody else's son is dealing with peer pressure. They're dealing with depression. They're dealing with suicidal thoughts. Come on, come on, come on. Let's pick up a weeping. Let's pick up a wailing. Let's pick up a travailing for our sons. We say that the devil can't have them. 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 We say that the enemy can't have them. Say to loose your hold on our sons. We claim them for righteousness. We claim them as holy men. We claim them as holy men. We claim them as upright men. We claim our sons in your kingdom. Bring them in. Bring them in, God. Bring them in. Out of the drug house. Into your house. Out of the crack house. Into your house. Hallelujah. Bring them in. Put a hook in them. 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 You know where they are. You know who they're with. You know what they're getting ready to do. Bring them in tonight. We decree and we declare that the enemy will not win. We decree and we declare that the enemy can't have them. We decree and we declare that they are sons of integrity. They are sons of holiness. They are sons of respect. Come on, mother. Come on, father. Don't give up on your son. Don't give up on your son. Don't give up on your son. Bring him in. 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 I, I just heard the Lord. Father, we ask you. As I prayed this prayer many times, even concerning my son, I said, Lord, I don't want to identify him in the morgue. So we cancel death. <laughs> Come on, intercessors. Come on, are you still here? 
come on, come on. Are you still here? Are you still here? Are you still here? I, I, I need to know who I'm talking to, who I'm praying for. Are you still here tonight? Are you still here tonight? We cancel death. We cancel destruction. We cancel every witch. We cancel every warlock. We cancel every pimp. We cancel every plan of the enemy that wants our children and not just our sons, but for our daughters. God, we thank you that they are women of integrity. They are women who know your word. They are women. They are women. They are women who would walk upright. They are women who emotions are being healed. Heal our daughters. Heal our daughters. Heal our daughters. Heal our daughters. Heal them from abandonment. Heal them from rejection. Heal them. Glory. Raise our daughters up. Raise our children up. Raise them up. so smart Lord they're so smart this generation they they're so smart they know technology we have never seen a generation father like this generation they are so smart but father when it comes to the plan of the enemy some of them have no idea he that lurking spirit across social media pages. That perverted spirit seeking out our young girls. I see him sliding even as a snake into their inbox messages, into their TikTok accounts, into their Instagram accounts. But tonight, as intercessors, we put a line in the sand. We draw a line in the sand. Come on, intercessors. Come on, intercessors. We draw a line in the sand. And we decree and we declare that they will not be victims of sex trafficking. And while we're there, while we're there, while we're there, while we're there, while we're there. Father, we pray, we pray, we pray, we pray. But every person that is locked up in a sex trafficking scheme every person that is locked up and I see them in the spirit with their mouth taped and their eyes taped and their clothes have been ripped off of them and they've been drugged and raped but tonight they still have life in their body and so we pray as we did a few weeks ago that God you would locate our children every missing child every runaway child come on I said every runaway child God locate them let your angels be dispatched tonight locate our children the devil can't hide them from your eyes for your eyes are in every place beholding the good and the evil locate our children locate our children locate our children Set them free, set them free, set them free. I said, I don't know about nobody else. I'm not worried about the president. I'm not worried about the mayor. I'm not worried about the covenant. I want your will to be 
done in me. Come on, intercessors. I believe you can lift up the sound. That's what he wants. That's what's going to cause revival. That's what's going to cause deliverance. That's what's going to cause breakthrough. It's still in the ass. It's still in the ass. It's still in the ass. It's time. It's still in the ass. It's still in the ass. It's still in the ass. I wish I had a, I wish I had an old school, new school church. I wish I had somebody that understands that if you tell God yes, he'll turn it around. If you tell God yes, he'll heal your body. If you tell God yes, he'll save your soul. It's still in the ass. I said it's still in the ass. I said it's still in the ass. I'm telling you, 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 can't, you can't turn that on and off like cold water. You, you can't turn that on, my brother. You can't turn that on and off like a, like a fountain. No, no, no. When you begin to tell God, yes, for real. Some of y'all don't know nothing about a for real yes. When the mothers would have you, we're going to have to edit this. When the mothers would have you on the altar, glory to God. And when one of the mothers would get in your ear and say, tell the Lord, yes, baby. Listen, listen, you can't take this out of me. The mothers would say, tell the Lord, yes. And then another mother would say, give up the world. Glory, glory. Glory, glory. Glory to you. We give you another yes. We give you another yes. We give you another yes. We give you a 2020 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 yes. We give you a yes in my soul. In the midst of everything that you're facing, in the midst of heartache and disappointment and fear and anxiety, you telling the Lord, yes, it gives him access and it gives him opportunity to do what he does best. And that's work miracles in your life. I believe with all of my heart that there is someone that's watching me and you're saying, prophetess, I want this Jesus that you prayed to and that you prayed about. It's just this simple, my friend. Simply repeat after me, Lord Jesus, today I confess that I am a sinner in need of a savior. I believe that you are the son of God and that you died on the cross for my sin. And on the third day, you were raised from the dead. Come into my heart. Forgive me and I'll serve you. In Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer, congratulations on the best decision that you could have ever made. Go ahead and get into a Bible teaching church. 
and stay connected to us. I promise you, we will do you some good. If you have not already sowed, this is the perfect opportunity to sow a significant seed. You understand that your sowing is helping us to continue to bring this broadcast into your homes. I'm grateful to be connected with you. You can sow there on Cash App, Dollar Sign Barbara Calloway, or visit us on the website at barbaracalloway.com. And when you're there, Go ahead and subscribe to find out all of the things that we're doing. The School of the Prophets is coming up. So many other things that God has given us to do. Thank you again for watching the Spiritual Awakening broadcast. And I look forward to seeing you again next week right here on YLC TV. God bless.